Indianapolis NASCAR Spring Cup Series practice was cut short on Wednesday when a large multi-car accident left one car on its roof and a number of teams scrambling to make the Daytona 500. Trouble, oh, trouble. We didn't start finish line. Logano comes down. A large multi-car crash on Wednesday happened as a pack of cars entered the tri-oval at Daytona International Speedway. Joey Logano and Matt Kenseth made contact, setting off a chain reaction crash that sent rookie Parker Kligerman up to the fence and eventually on his roof. The wreck collected the cars of Paul Menard, Dave Blaney, Ryan Truex, and others. Kligerman put the blame on Logano. You know, what are you doing? Why are you side drafting and bumping people in, in the first practice, first drafting practice we've done all week? For his part, Logano admitted to being too aggressive for a practice session. Maybe I shouldn't have been racing as hard as it was in practice there, but um, yeah, everyone was in a big pack there, and we were all trying to, to make things happen there. The wreck damaged a piece of the fence, ending practice early. An earlier wreck damaged the cars of Brian Vickers and Cole Witt. Vickers will go to a backup, while the owner of Witt's car, Brandon Davis, says his crew will try to make repairs. The Swan Racing Team has only one backup at the track for both Kligerman and Witt. Today everything went wrong, so uh, we're gonna have to, we'll see what our team's made of. It'll either go really well or be horrible. Both Swan Racing cars have to race their way into the Daytona 500 in Thursday's qualifying races. Truex is in a similar position, and unsure of what his wreck does for his chances. I don't know now. I, need, I don't know how good our backup car is. We need to get it out, get it ready, and hopefully make some laps in it. Now teams like the 30 can still qualify for the 500 based on owner's points, but the one way to guarantee a spot in the Daytona 500 is to race in on Thursday. In Daytona Beach, I'm Alan Kavana for NASCAR.com.